So much to tell the grandkids, yeah, eh? So much to tell the kids when I'm older. Every time I just go back into town, I'll just think the shops got smashed up in 2011 by all of us. Just laugh about it every time I go back in there. There was no concern for the victims. I asked whether they felt they were part of society. Do you feel as if you're disenfranchised, is a phrase they always say, that you don't have a stake in society, you know? Yeah, I mean, it was a main factor, yeah, because you'll do anything to get more money, won't you? you? And other people have got money, so why can't we? For all the poverty and for all your kind of your background, do you take responsibility for your own actions? You say, yeah. okay, you take responsibility for your own yeah. actions. I wanted to say no, but didn't have to do it, but I thought I'd do it. So it was your choice and your responsibility? Yeah. And do you think the police will catch either of you? No. No? Not really. I've got nothing on me that they can find on me. Everything's sold and gone. This estate is in Withenshaw, eight miles south of Manchester, where hundreds jumped on buses, got lifts in cars, and even walked into the city centre to join in the chaos. These young men admit to being there that night, but deny engaging in any lawlessness. Over here, and we have a shit down. Okay. Um, so, who was down there in Manchester? Um, Everyone. Everyone was. Yeah. What did you do? I mean, no, we didn't, no, we we didn't, didn't join in. We just watched it, innit? Just watched it. We're, we're not losers. Yeah. We're not yeah. tramps. Yeah. And tell me what happened. I wasn't there. I don't know. Just bare people just running at the police. At the end of the day, just getting their own back in it. This is also the very place where David Cameron came in 2007 to talk about the broken society and where his photo opportunity was memorably ambushed by a local hoodie, Ryan Florence. Now David Cameron has said that pockets of society are not just broken, but I mean, sick. People, the, 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 the Prime Minister says you guys, you represent the broken society. That you, you know, you know, is society broken? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, mate. I mean, but guys, you Once know... Once he gets off his ass and gets around the estate like you're doing now, talking to us instead of just slagging us off and giving us bad names, then we'll start listening to him. Yeah, but till then, time to fuck right off me. But he, but he was down here before. He was down here in 2007. Yeah, no, I'm flowing. <laughs> but he says, he says you don't have any values, you don't know the difference between right and wrong, and he says you do this because you come from dysfunctional families and, and dad isn't around, basically. So what? And what, what, what does your dad think about, you know, you being involved? and kind of some of the activities, some of the things which hit the screens. The, the looting, basically. Life, isn't it? Got a new TV, be sweet, mate. <laughs> when they say parents aren't controlling their kids, right? So, OK, listen. Nah, listen, my, my mum and dad were strict people, I mean, mate, and they still couldn't stop me doing what I was doing. Serious, and they tried their hardest. It's not about the parents, it's about how the kids want to do it, you know what I mean? See, if you're someone that's going burgling house now, what could you do to stop him? Mm. Nothing, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And so if I said to you, you're filming me, filming, that's, that's all good, you know. So but if you tell me, you know, I mean, how could, um, if the parents, if you weren't listening to your parents, is that the sense that you've no respect for your parents? No, it's not that I've got no respect, it's just it's a different day and age these days, isn't it? They, they were all grown up, you know, old school, as they say, it's different day and age now, isn't it? So, so you think that, you know, that you guys are growing up quicker, are you kind of... Yeah, you don't, you don't grow up around here, mate, you've got to grow up fast. So, so too, man around, too many men are on drugs or getting money to get drugs, mate. So is that too many adults on drugs or kids? Yeah, too many, everyone, mate. Well, if you're going to distill parts of what they said, uh, it comes back to the old sense of deprivation, uh, uh, drugs, uh, criminality. But it's interesting that uh, one of the guys said that uh, the parents were strict. Uh, that they try to uh, keep it in check and it didn't work because uh, kids are uh, becoming adults an awful lot quicker. For many I spoke to, the riots were about power, about an opportunity to challenge the rule of law and about excitement. There was no remorse. Many of these young men weighed up their options and the consequences and decided that they had nothing to lose. Dylan McIntyre. Well, joining me now.